So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how I made my own custom drawer inserts to organize my tool chest. Now this is really cheap to do, since the source of foam that I'm using is anti-fatigue foam mats. Now I picked up a four pack of these mats for only 10 US dollars, meaning each drawer only cost me $2.50 to make a drawer organizer. So it's a really great and cost effective way of organizing your tools. To cut out the foam mats, you will need a hot wire cutter. Now I built this one myself and if you want to check out the build video there'll be a link that pops up in the corner. Alternatively you can just pick one of these up offline. Um, they start at sort of around a hundred bucks and go up from there so it's pretty easy to gather the equipment you need to do this. So let's jump into a sponsored segue and then we're going to get right into cutting out some foam drawer inserts. Here we have the raw and elusive mechatronic Neanderthal. To attract a mate, this young single male must construct a functioning circuit. Unfortunately for this young male, he isn't using a custom printed circuit board, so there is only one way this can end. Oh dear. Thankfully this won't happen to you, because you can order a custom printed circuit board from JLCPCB. Starting from as little as $2 for 5 PCBs, they have fast production time and offer a wide range of design options and colours to choose from. So why don't you try out JLC PCB for your next project. First I used my hot wire cutter to trim down the foam tile to fit inside my tool chest drawer. The type of foam I'm using is called EVA foam. EVA foam is quite dense and holds moisture, making it relatively slow to cut. To speed up the cutting, I'm using a 1mm or 18AWG hot wire with enough current to make it start to glow. During the cutting process, a small amount of smoke is produced, so I'd recommend doing this in a well ventilated area for obvious reasons. Now the tile is cut down to size, before you start cutting or drawing lines, you should lay out all the tools exactly how you want them to be organised. To maximise storage space, you might have to experiment with different layouts. The tiles I'm using have a textured pattern on one side, which I quite like the look of. I'll lay down the tile upside down so the marker lines aren't visible from the top side. When laying out all your tools, I'd recommend leaving at least 10mm of foam between each tool, otherwise the insert becomes a bit flimsy. Depending on the tool, you may want to add a finger cutout to make it easier to pick up. I used a large washer to mark out each finger cutout. I'd recommend placing any cutouts where your thumb would be when you pick up the tool naturally. Now it's just a matter of following the lines with the hot wire cutter.
This process does take some time. With a little practice I was making a draw insert in around one hour from start to finish. I'd recommend lining the bottom of each drawer with a thin piece of EVA foam to cushion the tools. If you wanted, you could use contact adhesive to glue the thin sheet of EVA foam to the drawer insert. This would prevent small tools from slipping under the insert and getting lost. However, I haven't found that to be an issue yet, so I'm not bothering to glue the two pieces together. This is one of those simple and cheap projects that makes you feel good inside when you're done. Now every time I open a drawer, I know exactly where each tool is and it's so satisfying to have a home for everything in my tool chest. So now my tool chest is fully organized. This is one of those great cheap things that really improve your life in the workshop and make your job faster and easier. Well worth doing. So if you enjoyed the video, please smash that like button, be much appreciated. Thanks to my supporters on Patreon, and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.